So let's abandon this then. Why are we even sticking around? Well, because we needed to do a rush, but there's another... There's another uh, guild also lined up. I I never thought that well, we'd experience this. I. That's dumb here. We'll just come back later. That's what I was going to say. I never recall there being conflicts whenever we did this before with the other guild. Yeah, I don't know. That is confusing. I mean, it could be because there are so many more guilds nowadays. Uh, yeah, yeah there are more guilds. There are less I mean, people. people. I don't people know. People play MMOs casually and they just wander off sometimes. Yeah. I, I think in this case, it's somebody with their own guilds that triggered it, not realizing the consequences of what they'd just done. How dare And then they're just standing around being like, well, uh, I don't know how to do this, so I'm going to go eat dinner and watch some Game Grumps. <laughs> <laughs> As all do. But yeah, uh, Py Pyro said he's going to just poach it for us so we can move on and do other stuff while we wait. Thank oh, you, Pyro. Nice. How about a guild pu puzzle? If we want to, uh, thing is, the guild puzzle is the same puzzle from last week, so I'm like a little leery about doing, doing it again. I wouldn't mind, but this is a little boring. <laughs> And then the last one is, uh, the guild trek, which is a nightmare. I'm kind of just wandering around doing quests in the meantime. There's an event I'm over here. Way. Flame Legion battles. You have to keep, yeah, have to keep four dudes alive ones. for a while. Yeah, we've got a smaller quest here. Actually, uh, that one might lead us to a mini dungeon if we want to do the mini dungeon as one giant board. I like doing things. One of my goals is just to make it. Uh, I need to hit 31, which I'm getting, which I'm close to doing, and then I need to also get like six more hero points, and then I'll be able to. Then I'll have my last summon. Yeah, the flesh golem. It was pretty good. So somebody was kind of arguing with me on the merits of like summons and in this game. They're like. The summons are all garbage, and I'm like, they're like the only good thing up until you hit the max level, and then you actually get the good thing. They're like, no, the summons are garbage, and I was like, but... You can why, never why make a minion master class if the minions aren't going to be The effective. problem is AI programming minions is particularly difficult. I mean, I believe that was a problem also in Diablo 2. Like, it yeah. was always fun to be like, I'm gonna be a summoning necromancer, but it's like, no, you need to use, like, bow and spear and shit. Yeah, or whatever the, or whatever the homing one was called. They get real stuck on things and die fast and a bunch of other things. And I can't think of a minion class that's actually been the most effective thing in any game, really. They're mostly uh, just a no. They're, in, they're usually just a no-brain thing if you just don't want to think very yeah, much. Yeah, it is no-brain thing. It works in Path of Exile. Like I, I did a minion class in Torchlight. Yeah, I tried the minion class in Torchlight. It was awkward. Like, it didn't... It didn't work well. Now the Flame Legion battles became about going to... We're, yeah, we're, we're capturing control points like it's a shooter. Yep. <laughs> and yep. we're in a volcano, and this is very dangerous. We'd be very dead if this was a real volcano. We were, like, in yep. the spatter cone. Yeah. Very video, bad for you. I, video oh, you game far volcanoes north. are surprisingly tame, considering how... Horrible they the real are. things are, yeah. It's not even it's not even the like uh lava that gets you necessarily. Isn't it like a fair amount of toxic gas that comes out of them yeah. first? There's a, of, there's a lot of problems. There's gases that are a problem, there's the part where like concepts like ash and stuff like that are literally like shards of glass in your lungs. Mm -hmm. Uh and uh then you have, like, the, the sheer temperature just in the area, regardless of whether or not you're actually in the lava or not. Just a bad time. It's a bad time. It's a vision of hell, and it might end the world one day. Hooray! <laughs> that's one of the Are fun dooms- That's one of the fun the doomsday scenarios, is the idea that what that gargantuan volcano will just explode and ruin life on, on, our, on Earth. Isn't that the one in Montana people keep talking about? There's a few of them, I think. 
There's that and asteroids. I could see the Earth being destroyed by an asteroid. If we don't have a proper deep impact, uh, or was we just it deep need to impact? keep Bruce Willis alive so he can save us. <laughs> We're not doing a good job of it. He looks. And, and we need to keep Aerosmith alive so they can do the inspirational music for Bruce Willis saving us. <laughs> just to loop back to that topic. <laughs> Wow, this Flame Legion ritual is going on forever. This is a, yeah, this is a long, long, uh, event. It's weird thinking that our Flame Legion quests are happening simultaneously. Yeah. Well, the Flame Legion's everywhere. There was a, uh, there was an event that happened earlier today. I was just kind of playing on my own. And it's like, ten minutes remaining, and I'm like, no. Bye. I just walked <laughs> off, leaving one person to finish it by themselves. Ain't nobody got time for that. I always feel kind of like a dick just abandoning somebody mid mid mission, especially because the high probability I'm going to get the rewards. And I'm like, eh, I'm a person. I got eh. person things. The game's looking out for them though, because they're going to get the better rewards. No. <laughs> Yay! The it's super succeeded. easy. It's Let's super go easy to find get. out where Keith is. Yeah, it's super easy to get uh, gold. I'm at a giant flaming portal. Yep. Yep, I know precisely where you are. The Eye of Murderon. <laughs> oh yeah, we can go to the Font of Rand. Yep. Uh, yeah, just hang out there for a second. We'll be we'll be there with the whole group, and we could uh, do a mini dungeon that's going to be yes. widely trivialized. Yes, good. Come to me. There's a lady standing next to me, Samantha Minuet. <laughs> just just kind of right next to me throughout all these missions. Does not appear to have a guild. The bird's probably recording, like, uh... Dream Daddy? Oh yeah, he might be doing Dream Daddy, or, uh, West of Loathing. Yeah, I don't know. I think I saw that early thing with the bragging battle. Pokemon style. I, I've paid zero attention to Dream Daddy. I was just like, this seems like a neat game that is not something that I would generally do content on. Well, it's a dating sim, right? Yeah. But, like, just visual novels in general aren't my kind of jam. They're, do 999. I mean, Everyone needs to do 999 so we can have. It sounds discussions. like you're tired. Your entire fan base seems to just despise you for playing that game, though. Wait, why my, do they despise me? My you? fans love me, and then, like, four people are really bitchy about it. Because, <laughs> like, it's, like, the most positively received and negatively received show on the channel simultaneously. It has so much viewership and so much people... Like, people are constantly, like, looking forward to it to brighten their day and freak out if it's late and stuff like that. But it also gets the most complaints. Sweet. Because how dare we criticize a game that is so criticized worthy? Are you guys going yeah. into the portal? Hop in the portal. We doing dungeon. Okay. In All we right. go. I think this is my first All right, one. So I've actually we did this uh, the other night, so I actually know what I'm doing. Oh my god, I'm dying. Oh god, god. what's happening? Don't stand on the panels. It's booby traps. Oh my traps. god. Yep. I did not know what I was getting myself into, and I almost died. All right. Uh, is it I was this trying one, to save dead the friend. One? It's the other one. Now I'm afraid to revive one. people. My people, God, they there's keep going nonstop dead arrows because people are not watching where they're standing. Oh, the guy's carrying ahead of a statue. Yeah, uh, we have to break a uh, uh, <laughs> ceiling up in here. <laughs> the melee yep. with it. Yep. That's great. All right. Uh, so the. The ceiling's gonna crash in. We want to go in the water, and then you want to go down and around. There's like kind of a secret area below. Not in here, though. It's on the outside. Yeah, that's a shark. Hello. Goodbye. Trying to take it mildly slow so we don't lose people here because it's so easy. Okay. Well, where's Keith? We haven't seen him yet. I think he's here. Um, I'm near Ruby. 
I think you guys are just fighting. Oh. Oh, I see Bradley's already there. I randomly die sometimes when I'm just sitting there. I never really understand why. Traps? Maybe? I mean, there wasn't necessarily a trap there, though. Which is the confusing part. I just have a lot I of people there. to revive in around here. Well? Every time I go into a new room, there's another revive icon. This is one of those that people like to, uh, like to do, but they don't know what they're doing, so they end up getting mobbed and murdered. Alright, um... So we have to... Here, I'll hang out near the gate, maybe? We have to get the frost what torches, the right? What the hell? Yeah, I want to say it's the frost torches, and the frost torches lead you somewhere. No, you're supposed to freeze the bubbles, right? Or... What? No, I don't- I actually don't know this one. My seven skill went away. Uh, when you're underwater, your- your... skills aren't consistent. Un mm -hmm. Underwater combat is something else. I don't know- I don't know how to do this one. I thought that we were supposed to freeze the bubbles and- and snuff out the dragon heads. Oh, uh, maybe? But... Nothing's reacting, which is weird. There we go. Hmm? I'm just re-equipping skills, but it's hard to do because I... Like, I thought I was locked out. Like, at first I thought I was in some sort of status effect I had to deal with. But it was just more that, like, I had, uh, no access to my skills because, uh... It's combat constantly. Everything's in combat all the time, so I, then you can't change your skills. The spear okay, gun doesn't get the seem gun right. and the frost buff. Oh, there's a spear gun. Yeah, I, I got have a spear gun. I have a spear oh. gun. Shoot a bubble monster next to the statue head that is flaming. Okay, so. Oh, those... this always happens to me. Oh, here, here we go. So I have the frost thing. Hmm. Huh. Did I get it? I don't know if I got it. We only have four minutes left, apparently. Oh, that's the guild rush. Wait, it keeps popping up for me for some reason. Well, it's because we're directly below it. Oh, weird. Yeah. Okay, so... I think that one flaming head needs to be turned off. Yeah, so I think what we need to do is get a bubble and then get on the other side of it. Oh, do we have to push it? Kind it doesn't thing? look like it pushes though. Oh, you gotta bounce a shot off the bubble. Yeah, the um... eye, the eye skill makes your shots bounce off bubbles. I'm just not sure what I'm trying to bounce it to. We need to bounce it to this last head over here, don't we? I think all the other ones have been extinguished. Maybe we have to pass it through it. Can somebody pop the bubble cascade over there again? We'll see if I can... Well, it has to be the one on the opposite side, right? Because that's the closest I can think of. It's that one. I was going to see if I'm, like, all the way over here, maybe... Ah, got it! You got it to bounce? Yeah, I got it to bounce. So if you stand on the opposite side of it, uh, it'll bounce the whole way. Is and doors open? open. Yeah, doors open. Okay, so we go in here? Yep. Once we get a couple of people inside, you can just pull the chain and it's super easy. That's neat. Let's see. Are we taking on more that was a uh, random one. people? Yeah. Anybody can join. They just gotta find us. We're in DSO Plateau. Oh, is this the wrong lever? Did I do the wrong door? Just, just wait. Uh, everybody come here. Keith and Shelly, you went to the wrong door. Yeah, that's what I was come just to saying. Me. Come to the cat. I don't see a cat, honestly. It's oh, it's the one going down. It's, the, it's, the, it's the blue cat chevron thing. That's Ruby the Wanderer. Yeah, that's that's the cat, she like that's the Catmander icon. Okay, so there's a chest here, and this puzzle's already been solved. You had to bring a sword down.
Right, because the sword would be given yep. to one of the statues. I keep feeling like I'm going to run out of air. Nope. Well, Never we have well. our little breathers. Yeah. Yep. We got breathers. Okay, I think we've got everybody in. Bradley? Like, the underwater ruins just put me in sonic mode constantly. <laughs> I'm waiting for this, the music to start. Okay. Is the event active? The owner of this chest will soon return, it says. Okay, so we got a minute or two. I have to wait for him to respawn. You missing anybody? Weird. Uh, okay. Group already did it. We just have to wait for the Three chart, other kinda. guilds over here are waiting. That is concerning. Wait, what uh, What other guilds? Uh, the guild rush. There is actually a, uh... What, everyone's just piled on? Trying to get first dibs? How many yeah. guilds are here right now? Multiple, apparently. Oh! Hey, we just got, oh, the, we guild got the guild rush completed. So that means we didn't need to? I guess? What? It must have just now finally someone. It must have been finally finished after 20 minutes. I well, guess. Well, yeah, it, it it finally ran the time limit. Oh, I feel bad for Pyro having stood there for so long. Well, oh man, that's a lot of pegs. Oh, just like the random loot loot bags yeah. in your inventory? Everything's finding its way in. Let's go ahead and buy Flesh Golem. There we go. The nice part is the other guilds waiting won't... Uh, won't have the same issue, so... It should actually be pretty quick. Flesh Golem goes in your last slot, right? Yep, believe so. How do I equip it? I think it might be different for underwater. I noticed that it's it's not letting me put an underwater elite skill. Oh, you think it. maybe there's no underwater elite, or the, or it doesn't qualify as one? Because I can, I can click on the four other menus to open up their menus, oh, but I can't click on the I, on the one for zero. Yeah, I think I think it might depend on. I only have oh, I only have one elite skill available to me that's usable. I, I don't have any that's usable underwater, as far as I can tell. So, that's part of it. Yeah, there's like a... There's like a water icon that seems to be suggesting that it doesn't work underwater. The elite skill. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's weirdly limited. I, I think it's one of those where they kind of, um... Oh, oh there, there he is! is. Ah! Attack! Danger. <laughs> danger, danger. Uh, Run deck the crazy. I, th I think they had a really good idea with underwater combat, but honestly, I think they should have actually just kept it as regular combat, but you just kind of move around awkwardly. Because I do not appreciate this. Ow. Oh, right, I have to melee in this game. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> I have a melee weapon right now. So if I stand out in the distance, like, this doesn't work. Oh, I got messed up. Whoa, I got pounded. Oh, weirdly enough? I think my spear... Yeah, my spear is a ranged attack here. I was not expecting that. Healing there up. There we go. I'm trying to. Yeah, I mean... Stop taking damage. No. There you go, thanks. The trick is, Shell, you just swim away a little bit, then you start healing. Alright, there we go. I, I was reviving the her. chest. Oh, thanks. And head to, I believe it's Manbane's waypoint. I think I got things from both chests. Yeah. Uh, so Rendak's chest will not give you things. The, the big one on the left will. Oh. Yeah, Rendak's chest is just there to summon the guy. I see. Oh, I don't think so he can be revived anymore. That corpse became an actual corpse. 
Maybe Unidentified walk die. See green die. That's fitting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. Back out to the world. Yeah. Head to to Manbane or whatever it is, and start doing the guild rush because we finally have access to it. Wait, we're going back. Yeah. Well, it's guild rush time properly, as opposed to, you know, finishing it for somebody else. Did we already claim it? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Py Pyro was super nice and claimed everything for us. Oh, nice. Yep, that does look like the Wanderbot symbol. Some of these guys have haste, and I don't. Blush Golem, Plark. Where is he? Oh, he's big yeah. and nasty. <laughs> he's just the yep. nastiest thing. <laughs> it's just really unpleasant. Hey, I just got beyond the range of the raw falling rocks. For goodness sake. You can always use your uh, dodge button to get out of the rocks if you see them coming down. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. And now I've maxed oh. out death magic and minion training. Nice. That's when, good. Let's see. Yeah, blood now, magic is the next one you should be working on. And now I need to wait for level 45 to unlock the ability to equip a second specialization. Well, that'll be a while. Judging by how Wait. pacing usually works in an MMO, it'll probably be about as long as it took to get to 30. Uh, this game's actually paced fairly well. I would say the leveling speed is a flat line. It, like, gets a little bit slower, and Holy that's crap. about it. Holy crap. Yeah. I don't know. No, no it's just, I almost died completely from a single, single falling rock trap. I went down They're to 50 mean. hit points. They are real mean. Oh, well, I screwed that up. Uh oh. I nearly died. Thanks. I'm not. I'm not running afoul of anything this time around. It's kind of weird. I goofed it hard. Oh, and I I goofed it extra hard. Eh. I took a I I took a wrong turn. That's why this is mad easy. Because you weren't on the course. Nope. Well, ow. I I took I took a wrong turn, I guess, and. Uh, no 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 ah. I, I, I took a wrong turn, and I'm like, wait a second, why is my flag all the way back there? Oh, son of a bitch. Because <laughs> I thought I was doing great. I was like, there, there haven't been traps in a while that have hit me, and the monsters are kind of reacting a bit slow, and I went the wrong way, and well. <laughs> Minor details happens. about my utter failure. Well, at least this way, everybody will come back and help me, right? That's how, that's how this works, I think. <laughs> Ow. I got I rocks got wide. By oh god. Some kind of, like, oh god. Spinneret stuff. Ah. Jeez. Ouch. Uh, not out of combat. That's unfortunate. Oh, well, I lost. Takes a couple of tries sometimes. Yeah. It's it's just not it's rough going deal. back to it cuz I got it I got it on my first try the first time, so now I'm rushing it. Did I do it? I, I got to the end and I transformed back. Check if there's a chest. Where's the chest? Oh, there, now it yeah. came. Yay, race participation. Okay, I'm not going the wrong way this time. This is a good feeling. I also just got a race participation. Yeah, so I, I think we get participation, and then we get another bonus at the end for finishing it. Oof. Ouch. So we have 8 oh. out of 15 done, right? I feel like I got through my entire first attempt without even noticing that Falling Rocks was a trap. It is a trap. It hurts. Like, I don't think I ever encountered it the first run. And it's brutal. I had, I had it twice in a row already. Basically, just one shots you if you're not lucky. Oh, that's where I went wrong. I turned. Yeah. Okay. I was so proud of myself. Are you both doing it again? I. Uh, yeah, we both had to. Right. Oh, okay. We are done. Yeah. So there will be a treasure chest. Uh, I think when this completes. Do you have like? A, uh, do you guys have like a glitch where? When you burrow underground, you actually just stay above ground. 
Uh, I actually yeah. didn't use that move much. Y yeah, no, for me, I just stood above ground, but things would not, uh... Yeah. Things weren't, like, there to bother me or attack it me or anything me like that. me out where I think I'm gonna die. This might be one of those we have to do multiple times for, like, a couple of people. I don't know. We've got Bradley. We've got Pyro. Did I take a wrong... We took a wrong turn. Ow. No. Did My we? organs, I need those no, on the didn't. inside. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of stabbings happening. Got it. You're just about there. Yeah, you, you're good. Okay. But I think we need like two more people to finish this. And then we're done. Oh, did I not complete it? Uh, we if were... you haven't trans... Look for ma look for flags on your map. You might have missed one. Um... Crap. Yeah, I made the... I made the same mistake. Did I miss the first gate? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's no. okay. It's so much work. Ah... Uh... Ow. <laughs> Everything sucks. It's not easy being a devourer, huh? Here. I'll I'll uh, specifically I'll I'll come back I'm coming back to yeah, specifically we'll babysit. I, yeah, we'll we'll babysit the shit out of you. Oh here we go again. Yeah, I think I went up the rock slope because I was trying to avoid the rocks that attacked last time. They were killing me before. Not realizing that that was like uh -oh. The boundary, apparently. I wish I could, like, specifically heal, but I don't think I've got a single healing move. For, uh, allies. Well, I can at least get critters off of you. Here we go again! <laughs> yeah, I, w I wasn't navigating via the map. I was just walking around, going through the flags. Well. Well. It's not so bad. So did you really miss the starting gate, though? Yep. Wow. I did not realize that was possible. Yeah, I went up the- I went up the- uh, It's like I just said, I went up the side of the- up the rock slope there, because I was trying not to get killed by the boulders uh, that had just killed me a there. second ago. Yeah. Because they hit you three times, which is like all your health. Okay. There are actually bats in these caverns. Like, not the ones that we fight, but ones hovering... Oh. Up ...above. Really? Yeah, like the little animated ones. They're cute. I haven't seen them. Fruit bats are the most adorable thing. They are. Fruit bats? I mean, just generally bats in general. The vampire bats get a little bit... A lot of bats horrifying. get monstery looking, whereas fruit bats just look like foxes that hang upside down. And they're, all, and they're also about the same size as a fox. I think I already told the gross story about fruit bats. No, zoo, no, right? you're thinking of uh, different I made bats. It. Fruit bats are huge. There no, we go. no, those bats at the zoo were fruit bats. Were they? Yes, the I... Budapest Zoo had the fruit bats, and they were peeing on one another. All right. Well, seeing as we only have two more, I'm gonna run this again just in case. Uh. Anybody else need an escort? Because otherwise, I'm going to run it myself and then probably finish it. Chat, my stream's in 480 or whatever it is right now because it's just whatever happens with the current throttling I'm having with YouTube. Everything's been really slow for like weeks now. And so that's just all I can do. Good thing I'm not a streamer. Yeah. Framing is, uh, weird. Let's see. Gems are expensive. Oh, you're looking at gems for, like, cash up stuff? Yeah, somebody put a cash shop, like, right here. 
if I took a look at it. If I multiplied my current uh, amount of money by like 15, <laughs> I'd be able to afford 400 gems. I remember early on in the game when the economy hadn't established itself, you could buy a lot yeah, of gold. Yeah, so uh, when the when this game was uh, first coming out, uh, gems were like almost one to one, like not one to one gold, one to one like copper or silver. Like it was. Uh, it was it was like silver, something in the silver. It was range. it was super cheap to pick up like a hundred gems. I think I, so, I think I remember being able to buy gems like reasonably. Yeah, so, so I, I spent a lot of my money, uh, more or less, uh, just, you know, investing in gems, because I figured, well, the price is going to go up automatically. Uh, this way... And you had the glitch that occurred, which gave you twice as many slots as you, you purchased. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, d I did have a uh, helpful little glitch. But, um, but so I invested in a ton of gems, and I was like, hey, Shell. You know, you've got a couple of gold. You should put it in gems because the price is going to go up. And she's like, no, it won't. Two weeks later, gems have oh, risen to well above a gold. Hey, hey, I did buy myself a character slot. You did get yourself a character slot, but you were you were very obstinate about like, no, nah, no, nah, I'll be fine. Gem prices won't raise that much. And then like two weeks later, you're like, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> well, I was mostly upset that you got, you purchased two <laughs> slots and got four slots instead. Hell yeah. I have more more character slots than there are uh, classes. I know. Because so nice. reasons. So now that everything's done, are we gonna try finishing up? I think I think it's just uh, Tommy Khan that hasn't done it yet. So once he reaches the end, I'm just gonna complete the course. If people don't uh, speak up about this, I'm just going to assume that this is the last one. And we'll get out do of we, here. Do either of you guys use iron hammers? Uh, I mean, I do, but... Nope, I don't. That's not level, that big of a deal. I have deal. a level 39 yellow iron hammer. Oh, I could... I 100% could take that, actually. <laughs> and mail... Out of my inventory. <laughs> oh, got some luck. Let's see. Yeah, so I'll be ending this if nobody else chimes in. You're seeing if anyone responds. Let's see. Oh, right, I was beast mode, so I need to resummon everybody. Okay. So, uh... So, did you... Now, you probably haven't, like, looked at any of the Destiny 2 gameplay for nope. PC. Don't know a single okay. thing about Destiny 2. I still don't know a single it, thing about besides the fact that it had weapon, melee weapons in it about the second expansion of Destiny 1. Yep. It, uh... I'm really excited to play it on PC because it feels so good. Alright, well, nobody's... Flesh gold Nobody looks ridiculous. Up. He's just like a series of spikes. Uh Did did I end it? Oh, you're are you dying? This guy's dying. Huh. I actually I can't end this. Weird. Maybe is it because somebody is running the uh running the thing right now? I have no idea. But yeah, like uh you remember when we were playing Destiny 1 together, and I didn't like the pistol that much, uh, the hand cannon, because the hand cannon had way too much kickback, kickback and it was kind of a pain to aim? Sure. The kickback is so manageable in Destiny 2. I think my... I'm pretty sure my main in Destiny specialized in using the hand cannon and the shotgun. Yeah, that's part of the reason why I was bringing it up. I haven't, I haven't gotten the chance to play with the shotgun yet, which is unfortunate. They, yeah, they gave, over and over like, again, I keep saying, yeah, end the mission, give me credit. I can just keep saying it and nothing happens. Yeah, huh. it might be Borks. All right, well, I mean, we're at 15 out of 15. As long as we don't leave, I think we're okay. Bork, bork, bork. I mean, we can probably leave. 
Yeah, no, let's just get out of here. Keep playing the area. Wait for 12 minutes to pass. We've already completed the quest. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna backblade. I'm just gonna run north. Going south? Backblade. Blackblade. Yeah. There's the flame temple tombs. I don't think there's a heart, but there's a hero point and a vista up here. Oh yeah, there is a vista up you there. My minion. Whoops, missed that. Oh, yeah, around the corner there is. But yeah, it, yeah. it uh... I went up for the hero point and I missed the vista. Based on, like, my initial impressions, they're trying much harder to have, like, the NPCs actually say shit. Which is really encouraging. Because I definitely remember in uh, in Destiny 1 where, like, even that first mission was just, like, Dinklebot talking to you a little bit. Dinklebot? Alright, you're done. Hey, Destiny. And then Dinklebot got retconned from existence. Yeah. And he became Nolan I think Nolan it's still Bot. Nolan Droid. I actually don't know Norla Nolan North's voice that well, uh, surprisingly. He is Nathan Drake. And Nathan yeah. Drake. And yeah, see, Nathan I Drake. I, I don't actually, uh... I don't actually, like... Play the Uncharted games. I want to. I, I've i heard they're amazing, and I've seen, like... Videos of it-ish, but... They're alright. They're an enjoyable enough, like, Indiana Jones movie, basically. With... Kind of mediocre gameplay, like, across the board. Okay. Like, the main selling point is that you'll be in the middle of a combat scenario, and then, like, a, a hype, like... A moment will happen that's, like, a set piece. And so the set pieces are the, are the draw, but the gameplay is really shallow and uninteresting uh, cover-based shooting. And yeah. the other thing the game does was, is it'll occasionally be like, Look at all the poopy ledges! You gotta climb on the poopy ledges to continue! So you, like, have yeah. a bunch of poopy ledges, and, like, I'm you have to find I'm kind of desensitized to poopy ledges at this point because of... Yeah. I'll, like, everything like that's, else. That's all of the platforming in Uncharted 2 and 3, at least. I never- uh, I mean, 1 and 2, I never played 3. But in 1 and 2, it's just a whole- Oh, no, I played 1- th I think I played 1, 2, and 3, but not 4. I forgot the new one was 4. But in 1, 2, and 3, yeah, it's just- The- the- p the platforming's basically not even gameplay. Because you just hold the joystick in the direction of where you're supposed to go next, which is one direction. And the, and the shooting is just really basic third-person shooting with a, like, uh, here's your pistol, here's your rifle, here's your shotgun. Shoot the people that are always- that are almost always just humans. And so it's mostly just- you're- you're, you're kind of, uh... A lot of the game is kind of just sort of biding your time and getting through to the next set piece or story cutscene. Because that's the draw. So the weakest one for that- on that purpose is the first game, because it has so much gameplay compared to the, the stuff people play it for. And then over time that just everything kind of got smoothed over time. But they really they really hit their groove with uh, The Last of Us. Because The Last of Us has interesting gameplay and world and things to do besides just watch the story unfold. And it's actually oh. a, it's actually an interesting tactical little survival game yeah. where you have limited supplies and you can die horribly I, very easily and stuff. Yeah. I've been wanting to play it ever since uh, I tried... I mean, honestly, my Fallout challenges have made me want to play more games like that. It's just the ever-present problem of just like, do I... Yeah. Do I, I... I hate console shooters. Like, just playing a shooter with a controller feels so uncomfortable for me. Yeah. And it's ne well, you're never gonna get anywhere else, that's for sure. Yeah, I know. It's true of every Naughty Dog thing. It's just also, I have like a billion other games to play, like... For a lot of Last the, of Us, though, if you're playing it right, you're doing stealth attacks and stuff like that, where the aiming is no. somewhat less important. It's- it's more- like, if, uh, if- if Uncharted is Gears of War, then Last of Us is more akin to, like... The way that State of Decay, of Decay wants you to play it, as opposed to how you, you may be played by dropkicking everybody. Yeah, I like, I just dropkick everybody to death. Like Have you last... finished State of Decay at this point, no. or you're still slogging? Oops, sorry, Moa. That's okay. Uh, I'm taking a hard hiatus on it because uh, originally Metro Last Light wasn't working, so I was just going to play uh, State of Decay as kind of a consolation, being like, 
I can't record Metro Last Light, so I guess this is, uh... This will just have to do or something. They just started working it was again? The, it was the runner-up. And then, yeah, Metro Last Light, as soon as I got past the first ten minutes, the game worked like a dream, and I was just like, I wonder if this these events dumb. work with the heart. Do pets work with the what who? I I'm trying to see if these work with the heart. No, I lazy workers. Oh, maybe it is uh, working. That's some kind of event here. Might right. actually be a good one. Oh, there are two events. Oh, you went to the south one, and I went to the north one. <laughs> I never do collection quests. I find collection quests to be extraordinarily boring. Talking about the event or the heart? Because like, aren't you doing all the hearts? Well, uh, no, I guess I'm not doing a heart here. Damn. It was one of those where it started next to a heart, and I'm like, oh, this event will, will like, oh, just feed into the heart. Oh, this next to a heart too, but now it's gone. Yeah. So these are just outside the reach of hearts. Well, they're dumb. <laughs> how dare they? Yeah. How dare they? I, it is like a serious problem with this game, though, that like the events on their own half the time just aren't worth doing. In favor of, uh, you know, trying to mix it with a, with a heart. Well, I think it's, that like depends a bit on whether or not you're pl a player who cares about hearts. True. Well, I, hearts are kind of more important because you want to get zone completion. Because uh, more or less every time you finish an area completely, you get this, like, mad uh, windfall where it's just like, here's, like, a couple of gold. And, like, that stacks up real fast. Uh, so far, the zone completions rewards haven't really felt that substantial. They get better as you go on. Like, by the end of it, you are getting... Like, part of it is you get, like, 40 crafting materials, which is not a small number, actually. I guess I have, I have no particular point of reference for crafting so far. Uh, well... Even if you don't craft, which you probably should, like, if you can manage to, uh, max out a crafting tree, you just gain ten levels. Uh, which is super... Like... Now I'm know. completing this properly. Yeah, you're supposed to chuck grenades at wasp nests. Because apparently Char have to use explosives oh. on everything. <laughs> Where are you getting the... Where'd you get the grenades that from? Seems ah, fitting explosives enough. kit. I'm being taken back into my old job, basically, from back in the day. Which is? I'm going, I'm going to a bunch of water testing areas and retrieving samples so I can take them back. Nope, can't blow up trees. That's like, unfortunate. Like, working for the water board is basically this job, is basically this quest over here. What do I think I once want? mentioned uh, to my mother what your job was, and she's like, oh, I'd more or less do that. And I'm like, huh. Didn't realize there was that, like, weird similarity going on. Yeah. The difference is that mine wasn't a... Mine was in one of those not real jobs meant for students. Well, yeah, yours paid like shit. Her, uh, hers pays rather well. It's the difference between people that society ca decides count versus don't count. <laughs> And so, to rebel, you decided, I'm gonna play video games. <laughs> I'm gonna go get internet famous. <laughs> I gotta I'm follow my dream. Watching, watching Persona, a uh, wander playing it, it seems like the majority of the cast is, is just... Addicted to the idea of yeah, fame, yeah. They're, yeah, they're just, they're, well, out, they're out to get it. It's, it's their... They just have this one single-minded drive and aspiration to acquire it, and it's... It's interesting. Like, that one guy was using the group. He's like, oh, I manage the forum, therefore I'm important. And I mean, to an extent, he was, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, a lot of it has to do with, like... You know, temptation, corruption, bunch of stuff like that, Greed. so there's... Yeah. So, like... The friend that, like, has been helping you this entire time gets addicted to the idea of helping you. Uh, kind of to his own benefit, and has eventually... Has he played Persona? Just... 
Keith played Persona up until they said we will uh, we will take down your videos for doing so. Oh. At which point Keith which moves is on because he has other say shit I to do. I experienced two fights total. Yeah. They uh they didn't handle that at all well. Nope. Ooh oh oh. Occasionally, it, it was almost days. worse when they were like, "Oh, we never meant to threaten anybody." Just yeah. Well, meanwhile, you can go to their other to the other page that was still there that they posted originally, which is like giant bold threat in bold text and caps lock and stuff or whatever it was. And it's like, really, never, never meant yeah. to threaten anyone, huh? I uh, I don't I. I am of such a split mind for it, because on one hand, it's like actually like a legitimately really good game. On the other hand, like, god damn, that was such an awful mess, and I didn't enjoy it at all. For me, it's like, I, I don't want to support a company acting like that, and the game is gargantuan, so that's like, an, that's already enough strikes against it at some point for covering it, and I'm like, you know what, I can just, I can, there's, yeah. I can just go any other direction that has no strife. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I'll just have to get really busy covering like eight games in that time instead of that one. <laughs> yep. I am at a hundred and four episodes, and I think I'm at the sixty percent mark, maybe a little <laughs> bit further. It's I have seen long. completed playthroughs on the in the internet. Not, I haven't watched them, but I've That's noticed fire. them, and you can see them being. You can see that like they have a hundred episodes, but each episode is like ninety minutes long, and it's like, oh my god. Yeah, I that's terrifying. I that's all. That's like all year. Buffs. People were real mad at me because I was playing on easy, and I'm like, the only way I'm finishing this is on easy. <laughs> oh, you guys already went down. Everybody has gone in West. every direction. It is. Be right back. It is nuts. I feel like I have lost the area that this mission's actually in. Uh... I don't see a heart around here. There's a heart, like, right here. I just don't know where it is. Like, uh, where the, where the meat of it is. There's just a couple of, like, milling NPCs, and I'm like, this- I don't think this counts. Hey, Guildrush is yeah. done. That was- yeah, I guess it's just bugged. Weird. Makes it easier. Shall what? Talk to me. I'm coming down. I'm coming down right I now. I don't care. Talk to me. Okay. Well, so what other characters? Because aren't aren't a number of the characters in this show models, or they want to be models? No, I, just just, just one, one just one character. Really? Yeah. On. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, most of the characters are just high schoolers. There's one guy, uh, voiced by Matt Mercer, that wants to be, yeah. you <laughs> know. <laughs> He wants to be your favorite an artist, voice yeah. actor. <laughs> Seriously, because of Persona, I have grown so used to hearing his voice now that I hear it in every game I play, <laughs> and it is just like you are generic NPC man and supporting side character man. Genera man, home with the generic. He is so genera man now, and it sucks because he's got a really good voice. But um, he was Leon S. Kennedy. Yeah, but the Resident problem is, Evil, so. so he's got also such a genera good, man. Like, yeah, so yeah. he's got such a good, like, basic voice that, um, he ke keeps getting hired back for it. You know, just be kind of a deep-voiced man for us. And he's like, gotcha. <laughs> Easy peasy. And he'll just say his lines. And generally, Hello, you know, it's, 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 it's spot on for the character if he, if he wasn't so prolific. But because he is so prolific, it's just like, oh, it's just Matt Mercer again. Like, if I our... liked his Illithid voice for the Dungeons Dragons campaign that they were doing. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, and I'm I'm sure in that one he he can come up with more unique voices because nobody's like getting old ladies and stuff. Going to give him shit for it. <laughs> like I saw the one with Vin Diesel as a uh, vampire slayer. That's one of the traps was. is that once you get once pe people know your voice, they just want to recruit you for the same voice again. Exploring yeah, mm. and so like now I just hear Matt Mercer. Sometimes I hear Matt Mercer talking to Matt Mercer, and I'm like, Whoa. it's like how uh, uh, what game was it? Dis Dishonored Two hired Vincent D'Onofrio, and then had had him just do the voice from 
Had him just do the, do the voice from Daredevil when he played Kingpin. He used to the same uh, voice. And it's like, and he's the lead villain of Dishonored 2, and it's really distracting how it's just the same performance, basically. Except I, like, can't take it seriously at all in Dishonored. It's so awkward. I, Dishonored 2 is definitely my, like, kind of Persona 5, where I was just like, this just doesn't look play worth uh, playing, if only because of the massive technical problems. That it seems to suffer from, at least on PC. For me, it really uh, never wasn't. It was never massive technical problems. It was just like, ah, eh, this frame rate looks a little weird, and that was the I, only, I, that was the grand total of my encounter with it. I got burned so hard on Arkham Knight the moment I hear a game might have like performance issues, I just like kind of swear it off because I'm like, there's there's no way I'm going through that hell again. So Part many of the reason people. Why... Oops, ran into a wall. Separate to saboteurs. Wait, did you guys continue even further west? I mean, I'm just, I'm just going kind of. How have you even finished the heart over here? Uh, we were there for a little while. Mm. Fight the separatists. I mean, it seems I'm like. Uh, I'm fighting separatists. I'm almost done. I'm just done, trying to but... find anything on the map I haven't done yet, and then do it. <laughs> That's ultimately the goal. And okay. so these are generally, I go faster if I'm not near Wonder. <laughs> these, so if these are true. human separatists. Are they humans that decided not to ally themselves with the Char, like the main branch of humans, and they're like, no, we can't forgive them for what they did to Ascalon? That yeah, thing. well, mostly they're just racists. Mm -hmm. Like all humans in fantasy. <laughs> yeah. I am not sure how to get up here. Oh, there it is. Oh, uh, nope. Where are you? Oh, you're all the way down there. Damn. I'm trying to do a... a... a, uh... Vista. Uh, it's not looking great. There, there is a vista here at some point, Keith. That you, uh, you're gonna have to do by firing yourself out of a catap uh, catapult at it. Do you know which one it is? Like, if it's the one that I mattered? Yeah. Uh, here. I'll. If can you see like a, a little star on the map, like a blue star? Sure. Looking thing. Yeah, that's where the uh, catapult is. It's pretty obvious, but it took... Yeah, I remember, like, originally it took me some serious time to remember. So, according to, uh, uh one of my, uh, one of my viewers on Twitch, they're waiting until I finish Persona 5 before they watch it on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. That'll be a long binge session. That is going to be a long binge session. Probably more satisfying, though. It, it's definitely one of those games where, like, I want to play it more often, but, uh... It suffers the same problem that, like, this game does whenever I stream it, where it's just like, live audience is very small in comparison to if I were playing, like, anything else half the time. And so I, like, actively have to uh, mix it with more popular things so people don't just be like, okay, going to... Disgusting live streamers. <laughs> Ow. Yeah. Well, it looks like this... Why is falling hurt? <laughs> Why did I pick that up? I was floored when we first did this because we had like 90 to 100 people watching. It is just like petered out. Is that a lot? I don't know. I, I, uh, when we first uh, streamed Guild Wars 2, like the first night was nuts. It was just like people galore and really surprised me. And then the live audience is mostly like kind of petered out for it. And I wonder if it was like idle curiosity or something that I'd like missed. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It, there's always the it, thing of just, hey, you started a new thing. That's a different name. That always gets people's attention. Uh, from my from my like general experience when it comes to live streaming, oh, that was it's, solid. It's more of a you started a new thing. I'm not interested because I haven't heard of it before. Uh, I wonder if that's so where like, live streaming runs counter to YouTube. It does. Because like, YouTube, YouTube it's really like, does. Ooh, not to see. Yeah, with YouTube, it's like, ooh, novelty, and, like, if you get on it early, it pays dividends because of long tail. 
Uh, with Twitch, there's no there's no long tail period, so like I could be streaming Moonlighter, and nobody would know that I did a bunch of live streams on Mo Moonlighter previously. That's always the weird thing about streaming is just the feeling of like whatever I'm doing right now basically only exists right now, then it doesn't matter after that. <laughs> Like, it's technically, they're keeping VODs around now, but the audience doesn't care. I suppose it's the closest thing to live television and stuff. They want to yeah, have some kind of Yeah, for a generation of kids that don't buy cable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, like, I can... I I, I can kind of understand the perspective on all of these things. It is just maddening as somebody that has to, like, make a living off of this stuff, or at least is trying to make it to that point. And it's just like, I have no idea how to balance all of these things reasonably. I have to return chickens. It is nice just having a monstrous horde of allies wandering, following me around now. Oh, you actually... Uh, no, do you mean you're, uh... It's because I unlocked the final tier, so I have five separate summons active at once. Let's see, so what are we... What are we doing at this one, Shell? We're supposed to, well, fill up their troughs with water. Oh, I see. Feed the cows. I'm, I'm never... I'm no good at these, like, uh... Non-combat ones, because I'm just like, <laughs> so wait, <laughs> what right. do... You're like, you're like wait a minute, I haven't been paying violence. attention for like the last two hours. I have to do what now? Well, yeah, like this one I actually, I actually I've just have been to running like... around and hitting one a lot. <laughs> also, yeah. you have to return chickens, because they're on the loose. You just I point, point the murder horde towards things and stuff happens. Oh, look at, look at this chicken, it's so cute. Oh, It's a massive chicken. It doesn't play epic look battle music, though. <laughs> Wonder, look at it in my arms. That's what you need. Like, you need I epic chicken head. battle music. Let me, let me come see. I was playing a game called. Um, Oops! I dropped it off. Go get, go get another adorable chicken. Okay, I'll find oh, another chicken. I just realized I'm a char. <laughs> look! Look at it! Look at its waddles waggle. Aren't they so cute? Our characters Weird don't seem to be particularly interested in the fact that they're holding chickens. My character's like kind of twitchy, and your character's just Look, staring. My blankly characters out. actually hefting the chickens. See, we're, we're hefting the chickens. I guess these are monstrous chickens. I know. Nope, there goes that. There we oh, go. Oh, the chickens look even more massive when held by a char. Look at this Wait, they scale based on they, character? Yes. Because they, they, they probably scale as like as if, as if they're an inventory item, right? Come over here, immediately. I'm coming. I think, uh... Yep, yeah. Wants to show you the chicken. Ru Ruby, Ruby wants to show you the off. chicken. Big <laughs> oh my god, that chicken is like bigger than I am. <laughs> oh, it's also Ruby used the, um... Ruby used the size tonic. Yep. So Ruby is like extra big. That is... <laughs> Chicken nugget plus plus. <laughs> Damn. Chicken meteor. You know, I haven't seen many Asura in our ranks. Oh, there's an Asura. They're hard Hi, to spot Nefurian. because they're Asura. Yeah, so, yeah, that chicken's definitely larger than you. My Asura's uh, a thief. There's another point of interest over here. There we go. Me. <laughs> Part of me slightly wishes that completionism was was just uh, arts and vistas. No, not points of interest and whatnot. For, the, for point of interest, you just walk towards a square, and it's like you got it, and then you leave. So when that's what when that's all that's left, you're like, it's like it's like busy work a little bit. Mm -hmm. Which the whole yeah. game is technically, but yeah. I mean, every game. I think this is one of the cool vistas over here. Wasn't this one pretty extensive? Trying to jump up to it? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go get the point of interest. Yeah, let's get the POI first. Oh, right, I remember this one. Oh, jeez, yeah, this hero point vista combo is nuts. You got this one down here, Keith, or no? Um, Have you gone to the wall? No, I've never been on that side of the map yet. 
Here, you want to come over here? Because we should probably do this one as a group. Sure. I don't think I even have a waypoint nearby yet. Let's see. Doesn't take too long to run over. I can head there from Nagling Waypoint after I get out of combat. Okay, I'll see if I can figure out how to start this one, because if I remember right, it was... not so hard, and then it gets kind of nuts. There we go. How do you post stuff in chat? Control. Oh, making sure uh, the Kojos are... Yeah, I don't know I'm how. I'm not gonna get left behind. Yeah, I don't really know how. I did control and I just said it out loud. <laughs> so it just made my character say it above his head. I'm like, well, that's not useful for this purpose. I guess it's gonna be a lot easier if you have flying. Oh, you're on your way. I'll just stand directly next, uh, on, on top of where you gotta go. Okay. Whoa! Oh, actually, you can't use the glider. Oh, is it gliding disabled? Oh, it is gliding disabled. Well, yeah, then. so I, I could only use the glider when I was midway through my fall. Isn't the glider like, usually oops. disabled whenever it affects actual gameplay? Uh, only for actual jumping puzzles. I didn't realize that... This is a pseudo-jumping puzzle in a way. Yeah. So I suppose I would have to go around to the right then. Yeah, uh, if oh, you got a speed oh, boost... Oh, wait, why wouldn't they let me jump? If you got a speed boost, you can... you can cross the whole thing freely. I mean, I have the light foot... Signet, so... Yeah, I mean, it's easy to just go on the right, though. Mm -hmm. Nope, that was not the right call. Ow. Ow. That oh, was not did the we answer, do this with my... I am very yeah, we dead. Did this with your dad. Yeah, we did this with my dad. My dad was... Nope. Not good at 3D platforming. Pain. Without love? Pain. I can't get enough. <laughs> God, my brother used to listen to that album on repeat. It was agony. I did too for a little while when three, I didn't have three like, days grace else. one X or something like that. I think it was yeah. the name. Here, there we go. I used to listen to them quite a lot for some he reason. He wrote such an emo thing when when you're supposed to write about yourselves for class, and he wrote about like. Hating the himself ahead, and his favorite song is I Pain and stuff like that. Head east. Okay. I don't know. First album I ever got was like a Linkin Park CD, so I feel like I've been kind of trained to just de be desensitized to that kind of music. I remember when, uh. We so, my brother was often really ungrateful during Christmas type things for like gifts. He'd like often complain. He'd often complain, he'd complain about area. gifts he got, and like that's like super not, not cool. But he would. And what? Uh, one Christmas, uh, I got one X Three Days Grace, and he got my Chemical Romance Black Parade. And he was so mad that he was given an emo music because there was like a stigma for that idea at the time. If you're insecure, huh. uh, So we traded, and boy did I trade up because, man, Black Parade is such a better album than One X. <laughs> Yes. Holy crap. That's actually, like, once you get past the irritating hype wave stuff, like, because fan bases are annoying, Night in the Woods, Undertale, and so on, uh, that's, oh, actually, that's actually a really competently put together album full of excellent instrumentation and song progression and structure, and, like, it's actually, like, a cool album. Did I mess up there? And One X or... is not. <laughs> it's not or... great. Wander? Yeah, I messed up, too. I mean, I... I got the hero point. I missed the vista. There's well, I'm actually trying to oh, get to the hero oh, the point. Like over there. Do did I jump on the wrong segment? Uh, no, no, you're fine. Go around the back. Don't go jump around. anywhere. There's like a go around. Oh, That's there is work. a little. Yep. Huh. Well, I guess I'll have to re-jump that entire thing. Didn't take too long. Got a copper wow. on something. Yeah, that was the event that we're like, oh wait, this doesn't this doesn't oh, go with oh. the heart. Oh, I fell. <laughs> but it didn't take me too far down. 
Thank goodness. Not sure if I know where I'm going. <laughs> We're just going along the wall. Look at how I'm fighting a guy and he's just yelling propaganda at me. <laughs> well. He's just like, we're not free until the Char are dead. And it's like, what? <laughs> uh, pain without love, pain, I can't get enough. I guess I gotta run the whole goddamn thing again. Uh, did you finish it off, Keith, or no? Nope, don't really know where I'm going, honestly. Oh, uh, well, I guess you just have we'll to be back to show you the way. Nice along the wall. I'm fighting, I'm in a room where enemies keep spawning because I can't figure out how to leave. Oh, where did to you go, go from here. into one of the buildings? No, there's just like an open clearing where a bunch of Ask nope. Ascalonian enchanters keep spawning. Yeah, oh, no, uh, you have to you before. have to go back up and around, and there's like a kind of bridge that you jump across. It's like a busted bridge. I find it hilarious that I put the sci-fi armor that I have on my Silvari as well. Completely dichotomous. Those two concepts of plant person. Oh right, all my summons died when I fell. Whoops. Suit of armor. Oh right, it's over here. I remember what I'm doing. Vaguely. There's a letter. The road splits ahead, but I came prepared. I must head east. Huh? Yeah, I think wow, I did not clear more. the jump at all. Okay, uh, so you found the mushroom? Um, yeah, I don't know. Or, no, you're the mushroom, sorry, you found the bridge. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm like, I don't think this lo seems like a uh, mushroom zone. I was looking zone. at your dumb head, the and I can't... It is the best head. Yeah, uh, one thing is, you get a... Your speed is reduced when you're in combat, so you gotta make sure that you're out of combat. Yeah, that's must, that's what happened. I was like, why am I so slow? Who's in combat now? Who are we in combat with right now? Oh, these guys down here are fighting. Nefurion, you're ruining it for everybody! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah, you gotta wait for those arrows to pop up over all of the skills so you can tell that you're out of combat. Now, now who's in combat? I guess if you have a, a solid enough speed boost, you'll be okay. I do not. <laughs> Generally. Wait, the locust. The locust signet. I can't watch. Well, can't change his. I can't change skills while I'm in combat, which is the whole original oh, problem. Not in combat, but when you're outside of combat, then you can change it, and you'll be able to jump further. Who is in Note combat? Yourself, next time we do this, roll Mesmer. It could Who, be one of your minions. Who is in combat right now? I can't I can't go faster. Like I'm slow forever. Ow, there's enemies across the there way too, so they'll aggro aggro when you try to go there. Yay! Ah shit, Amazing. this one spawned now. I'm free! Holy shit, this area is big. Yep. Leave combat. Ow. Oh. I'm the only person still here. I think everyone left. Uh, right. I'm, I'm just grabbing a vista that was next door, but... I'm coming back again! I just... I... <laughs> I just, I can't get out of combat. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm for, forever in combat, so I can't make the jump. I'll just come along and start I, killing those guys. I, I don't even see yeah. any- I'm not even- I'm not being attacked right now, so I don't know what's happening. Hmm. Weird. And you don't have any of your summons summoned, right? Uh, they're all summoned, and I don't know how to desummon any of them. Fuck. Oh, you click on them again, don't you? No, this, that, most of them just will activate a skill. Hmm. Some of them will blow the up. A lot, of, a lot of them use skills, though, where they just do a skill. Oh. Uh. Yeah, uh, the the minion that blows up is is one specific one. I guess I'll uh, start attack random dudes for a while and see if I ever find myself being myself not in combat. 
This seems not... not excellently designed. <laughs> That's the idea of this jumping puzzle covered in enemies. Yeah... They introduced the prospect of it with the ghosts and whatnot. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, the one right, pirate get up there, Keith. got killed in the process. You should be free now. And if you're not free, I will make you free. <laughs> I put on fancy wardrobe skins onto my weapons. Oh, I'm in combat. Right when I got here. Give me a second. Try to make uh, the jump. Okay. I was you made it. Buffed. You got it. Someone just buffed me until I could make it across. Yeah, the swiftness buff is super handy. Oh, that's not the right way. Oh crap! Did I just screw myself? Uh, no, you're 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 fine. How do we get back up? Ow. I mean, yeah, you're gonna have to drop back down and kind of do this section again, but you don't have to do the whole thing. But it's not like it's it's not so bad. Oops. Okay, you got it. Come on. Oh, more enemies. <laughs> Not so bad. Okay, so next up you want to come over here. I think this is the part where we'd always lose my dad. He'd fall down the center. Then give up. There's some the, there's the, something Anorlando y about all this. Yeah. We're almost there. Alright, you go... Yeah, you go around. And up. Up here, Keith. It'd be weird in Dark Souls if there were actual, like, true jumping segments as opposed to, like, occasional, uh... You do not want that. Yeah, th those reared their ha their ugly head in a uh, Dark Souls one and in a uh, Demon Souls, and they were always bad. Yeah, even Dark Souls two does it a bit in the gutter. Or I guess at that point it's called the Grave of Saints. <laughs> the Grave of Saints. Okay, so Keith, you've got the hero point. Don't jump off. You you gotta yeah, make it over Vista. here. And I I screwed this one oh. up. Uh, oh. Great. <laughs> what happened? Great. <laughs> Wait, uh... Well... <laughs> that's not great. So you have to start off? Yeah. I, I was like, okay, make sure you can make it, and then he doesn't make it, now you have to do the entire thing. Uh, yep. sucks. <laughs> yep. Oh. Alright. Well, let's grab the waypoint this time, because I hadn't touched it yet. So it begins already. again. Oh, yeah. Blood's, uh, Blood Craze beef, Beast is already dead. Oh, right. Oh, there was one that had spawned up earlier. Yeah. I mean, we had other, we had other things to work on. Oh, there's still, there's still a waypoint up north I don't have. I think you guys had actually gotten it before. Yeah, that's probably the Char one, or maybe the Font of Rand. It was a ranch of some sort. There's minotaurs around here. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna go do the uh, the the flame legion battles in the top right corner. I've never finished that heart. I think you guys already have. Oh, from fighting the flame legion, I would have thought that you. you no, it too. I was I was busy doing something else. So I never actually finished finished the heart in the top right. Oh, Not that shit. it does. Did oh. you... I just fell off. Oh, starting over oh. again. Uh. Jumping puzzles are brutal. <laughs> hey, it's not as bad as uh, if you were doing this Do you on have a... your speed boost signet on? No, I should. Hard. You should put it on. Wait, yeah, the I locust one. The locust. Wait, you should yeah. have it. Right, there it is. 
Signet of the Love. I got thrown like, off because it was. I, I got thrown off because I tried the first slot and it wasn't available because of the whole weird like first slot can only be this signifier the game has. Oh, this is easy enough. I really like how they do like lava textures in this game and molten and whatnot. They've always done that real well. You mean for the nope. fighting the flame nope. legions? Oh. Yeah, I, I think in general this game has done a good job at making the um, the environments look really nice and maybe not believable, but like not too shitty. I guess I'm seeing some pretty heavy uh, polygonal nonsense here. But it's not so bad. There is. Jeez, what a. Well, I. Not apples and oranges here, but I remember. I remember when I was playing, uh. Tales of Zestiria, I specifically had trouble with the fact that it was this just ugly, featureless world. Oh, yeah. Whenever you're running around in it. Uh, Tales worlds are like just the most boring environments ever. Which sucks, because, like, uh, Tales of Symphonia had really beautiful worlds, because it, they weren't trying to go for that, like, uh, anime realism. They were still very much in the cartoony side of things. Yeah, nowadays it's just green open areas, for the most part. And yeah, then eventually and, like... Gray, and then eventually turns into gray open areas, because now it's the bad place at the end. Yeah, it's the bad place, or a mountain, or... multiple things, and it's just like, oh, come on, just... Give me something pretty to work off of here. Like, Come on, that's there one we thing. Go. I, that's one thing that I adored about like Final Fantasy games is most of the uh, most of the environments in like a Final Fantasy game are interesting to look at. They might not be the most interesting to explore, but at least they're like visually impressive. The more, the more interesting to look at in the Final Fantasy area is, the more it usually tends to be a hallway. Yeah, I'm okay not with that. Is. You're powerless now, Noctis. You're all alone, Noctis. <laughs> Never where, finish that. Where are your friends, Noctis? <laughs> Noctis. It just so, has been so annoying. Every time he spoke to you, he would use your name, and it was just so obnoxious how often he would say your name. 